In universe, millions of objects are there. Some of them are liquids, some are solids, while others are in gaseous form. Though these objects are with different sizes and shapes, different colors, different compositions, one thing is common in them. Everything in the universe is made up of atoms. Or we can say, atom is the fundamental unit of every matter. The word atom comes from a Greek word, meaning something that couldn't be divided further. This assumption was based on thought that atoms were the smallest possible units. More precisely, we can describe an atom as follows. Every element is made up of atoms. Atoms are the smallest or you can say basic or fundamental units of matter or element. They retain all the chemical properties of matter or element. Atoms are extremely small and we can't see them with naked eyes. Their sizes are around 0.1 to 0.5 nanometers. Generally, atoms are spherical, but for heaviest elements, this shape is little squeeze. Let's see the structure of an atom in detail. Atom consists of two parts. One is nucleus and second is electrons. So now we can say, atom is not the smallest, but made up of tiny particles called as proton, neutron and electrons. These are called as subatomic particles. Protons and neutrons are present in the nucleus, while electrons spin around the nucleus in a fixed path called as shells. Let's learn about the first part of atom that is nucleus. Nucleus contains both protons and neutrons. Protons are positively charged while neutrons are chargeless. Let's learn two more terms which describe atoms more precisely. First is mass number. The total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus is called as mass number. It is given by the symbol A. The mass number is written either after the element name or as a superscript to the left of an element symbol. Example is shown in the bracket. Next term is atomic number. Total number of protons in nucleus is called as atomic number of that element. It is represented by symbol Z. Let's see how this mass number and atomic number help us to understand atom in more detail. Mass number and atomic number of hydrogen and oxygen are shown in this table. From this information, we can able to calculate the number of protons, number of electrons, and number of neutrons present in both of these elements. Hence, in case of hydrogen, number of protons is equal to number of electrons and that is equal to 1. And there is no any neutron present in the hydrogen atom. We can get this information for oxygen atom also. For oxygen, number of protons is equal to number of electrons equal to number of protons and that is equal to 8. From this information, we can able to represent these atoms as follows. In case of hydrogen, only one proton is present in the nucleus and there is no neutron, while single electron is spinning around the nucleus. In case of oxygen, 8 protons and 8 neutrons present in the nucleus. 8 electrons are spreading around the nucleus. Electron 
like protons and neutron electron is also a sub atomic particle it spins around the nucleus in fixed path called as electron shell electron carries negative charge charge on electron is equal and opposite to that of proton the charge on a single electron is considered as the unique electrical charge the electron charge symbolized by e is about 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb the mass of an electron at rest symbolized by me is approximately 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg total number of electrons present in an element is equal to the number of protons present in the nucleus now let's learn about electronic configuration distribution of electrons of an atom or molecule around the nucleus in atomic or molecular orbitals is referred as electronic configuration here are some facts which will help us to understand electronic configuration in detail electron having lowest energy resides in first energy level which is nearest to the nucleus while electron with highest energy locates in outermost energy level which is farthest from the nucleus these energy levels are referred as shells first shell nearest to the nucleus is k second is l third is m fourth is n up to seventh level q shells are present each energy level is given a number called the principal quantum number n the maximum number of electrons in each shell can be calculated by 2 n square here we are taking into consideration first four shells and calculating the maximum number of electrons present in these four shells by applying formula of 2 n square we can say that k shell can occupy maximum 2 electrons l shell can occupy maximum 8 electrons m and n shells can occupy 18 and 32 electrons respectively so we can represent the shells with respective electronic distribution as follows As per quantum mechanics these shells are subdivided into orbitals each of these orbital can occupy maximum of 2 electrons this table is showing the electronic configuration by taking into consideration shells and subshells for k l m and n shells respectively first energy level k contains one s orbital second energy level l contains one s and three p orbitals third energy level m contains one s three p and along with that five d orbitals while the fourth one n contains one s 3p 5d and 7f orbitals so detailed electronic configuration considering shell and subshell is shown in the last column so this is all about atoms and its subatomic particles thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe this channel